Well, this is quite the turn of events, ladies and gentlemen. We've just had in the last couple of days announcements from central banks, from governments, from retail, from um, commercial banks, and we also have the SWIFT system. And this is what we're going to really look at today, because I think it was quite obvious to, to me, to you, to all of us really, what was really going on with these CBDCs, which stands for Central Bank Digital Currencies. All along, we've been told, yeah, we're just looking into it. It's just a, a testing phase. We might do it, but probably not. It's just because of Bitcoin and criminals and money launderers and all these other things. Well, we're just looking into these CBDCs, but we're probably not going to you know, implement them. And we've been saying all along, and we've been following this for a long time now, since 2020, when I did that very first video, way before CBDCs were even a thing. It was at the end of the Great Reset video, where I said, really what I think is happening here is, is ushering in this new central bank digital currency. And of course, I got, you know, called the tin foil hat man or whatever else. And I'm sure many of you got called crazy by <clears throat> uh, friends and relatives as well about talking about these digital currencies. Well, now it's all coming out the woodwork. In fact, this week, everything is just going absolutely nuts. And to really explain what's happening, I need to take you back to um, a couple of weeks here. Let's go onto the shared screen. So let me take you back exactly 20 days to March 7th, when at a hearing, Jerome Powell was asked a number of questions around whether the CBDC would be used to spy on Americans. And Powell said a lot of things, but I'm going to really just summarize the main points you need to know. He said, we're nowhere near pursuing a CBDC. <laughs> Nowhere near pursuing a C CBDC. Okay, pal, sure. And we won't spy on Americans. He said his agency isn't anywhere close to making any recommendations and wouldn't want any direct connection to retail users' data. Well, maybe he wouldn't, but there's certainly people in the shadows that do want this information. He tried to offer assurances in a Senate hearing that the CBDC wouldn't be built in the US in a way that gave the government an ability to spy on people. So again, we're going back 20 days here. Powell said the Fed isn't close to any digital dollar recommendation. I simply don't believe that for a start. We're nowhere near recommending or let alone adopting a central bank digital currency in any form. This is what Powell told the Senate Banking Committee in a hearing on monetary policy, adding that People don't need to worry about it. This is what these central bankers and politicians always say. They say you don't need to worry about it until it happens, of course. If that were a government account that the government would see all your transactions, that's just something we would not stand for or do or propose here in the United States. Republican politicians, including uh, Trump, have been issuing angry admonitions against what they characterized as a federal government intent to launch CBDCs, despite repeated remarks from US officials that they're doing nothing more than studying the idea as it spreads through other jurisdictions. Now, this includes Europe as well. And we'll touch upon that. Powell also said, if we were to ever do something like this, and we're a very long way from even thinking about it. Again, that, that's not true. We would do this, uh, and I've highlighted this in red for you, or it might look pink. We would do this through the banking system. Okay, so really clear distinction here, because he's, he's actually told us exactly how they're going to do it. And therefore, if and when, let's use the word when, it does launch, we know how it's going to launch. So, all this time, if you look at all these plans, we've been thinking that this was going to launch as a central bank wallet, cutting out all the commercial banks. Now, I think probably what's happened is the commercial banks, because they have so much sway, and remember, 
the Federal Reserve is neither federal nor is it a reserve of capital. Let me say that again. The Federal Reserve is no is not a is, a, is not federal. It's not it's not a government institution as people think it is, and it isn't a reserve of capital. It's owned by shareholders. Now, if you start looking into the shareholders, good luck because it's very hard to find. But there are clues, and I would theorize that the shareholders are the largest banks in the USA, as well as there's a couple of potential families, but I'm not going to even go down that rabbit hole right now. So let's just look at the largest banks and assume that they are the major shareholders here. Well, if that's the case, there's just no possible way, when I think about it logically now, there's no possible way they would allow their banks to be cut out of the transactions because you have a central bank digital currency, you no longer need the middle people, the middlemen, the banks, in order to transact with the people. You would just go direct from the central bank to the citizens. So it all kind of makes sense now because, and then here's where we get into the announcement. Bear with me, we're almost, we're almost there. He said, the last thing we would want from, or with the Federal Reserve would be to have individual accounts for all Americans or any Americans for that matter. So that's where we got to. Then SWIFT, the SWIFT system just announced this new collaborative experiment explores more complex CBDC use cases. What does that mean? For the last six months, okay, here it is in black and white. For the last six months, we've been working with 38 global institutions, i.e. central banks on the second phase of sandbox, or it could be it could be some commercial banks, but by the looks of things, because it's a central bank digital currency that they've been testing, I would say this is 38 separate governments. Interlinking solution is what they were looking at. This is one of the largest known CBDC experiments to date, and we're excited to share the results of this industry-wide collaboration. Now, we're not gonna go into all of the results today because that is just, a minefield. It would take too long to go into every last detail. But they said in this phase of our sandbox testing, we focused on demonstrating how our solution could be used in more complex use cases. These include simulated digital trade. Okay, there's one thing. Tokenized assets. We have to cover these tokenized assets because this is going to be very interesting for those of you who still have a mortgage outstanding on your property. Very interesting. And then FS Forex networks, as well as CBDCs for payments. Now, this goes on and on, but I want to just move on to this article here. And here's where they summarize. SWIFT is planning the launch of new central bank digital currency platform in, look how many months away this is. This is between one and two years. And, and I've been wondering about this a lot. I was thinking, how on earth are these central banks, these different governments, going to launch these CBDCs without the SWIFT system on board? I, I was thinking, surely the SWIFT system must be working on this. They have to be. Otherwise, how would it all work? How would the exchanges work? But there was just no evidence, really, that that was actually going on. Well, well, now the evidence is coming out that this has been going on for six months. And they say they're 12 to, 28 months, 12 to 24 months away from this being ready. So that tells us then that this could be ready as soon as, let's say, the 1st of April 2025. Now, that doesn't mean to say that other countries won't launch their CBDC beforehand because they could. They could do a lot of tests. They could be practicing with uh, certain groups of citizens like they have been with uh, UBI, which is universal basic income. Sure, they can do these tests now, but doing a, a mass rollout where everybody's dollars, pounds, euros, whatever currency is wrapped up into these, these digital currency, well, that would take more time. So we know that, though, at this point, that we, we've got at least 12 months before this is going to roll out. So that's useful for all of us that have been thinking, 
when exactly is this going to take place? Because yeah, we can take all these precautions now, which I've taken. Many of you have you know, listened to what I've said over the years about this and how you can prepare for it. But there's certain things that you can't just, you know, it's not as if you can have certain, um, some of your capital, for example, in certain investments where you're worried, well, when is this going to launch? Because that could affect those investments. Well, now we kind of know that we've probably got a year before these things come down the line. But I want to carry on because this is where we get into tokenization in a moment. But I just want to cover a couple more points here. Okay, let's have a look. Around 90% of the world's central banks are now exploring digital versions of their currencies. Most don't want to be left behind by Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, but they are grappling with these complexities, these technological complexities. So this is Swift's head of innovation said its trial, which took six months and involved 38 central banks, had been one of the largest collaborations on CBDCs and tokenized assets. This is what I want. I don't think people are picking up on this point. I saw a couple of people talking about this today. They're not picking up on this point. It is the tokenization of assets that you need to be focused on. Now, look, there's so much here. We could just keep going on and on and on. But I think there was only one more point I wanted to bring out. Uh, although the time frame could still shift if major economy CBDC launches get delayed. Now, again, they're telling us within the language here, the time frame could still shift if, okay, not, not when, but if these major economy CBDC launches get delayed. If that is what they are saying, it means that they're already planning to launch. Otherwise, it wouldn't say get delayed. It would use different language. Remember, we always have to listen to the language of people we're communicating with as well as what they, they write. Now, here's where we get on to tokenization then. The total size of tokenized illiquid assets, including, here it is, real estate and natural resources, could reach 16.1 trillion by, here's that year again, 2030. According to this report, and it's by the BCG, Boston Consulting Group, illiquid assets include pre-initial public offerings, so IPOs, real estate, private debt. So what do they mean by this? This is the tokenization of real estate. What does that mean? Well, it means potentially mortgages. So your house, your property where you live. This is real. This is not you know, me just thinking up ideas here. This is what they mean by it. Private debt, revenues from small and medium businesses. What, why, I mean, I'm still trying to think through this one. Why is it not large businesses? Why is it just a small, uh, the SMEs as it were? Physical art, well, we know why the physical art, don't we? Exotic beverages, again, that falls within the uh, physical art. Private funds, wholesale bonds, and many more. The authors added that in just the last two years, global digital assets daily trading, the volume's gone from 30 billion in euros up to 150 billion. That was, that was just between 2020 and 2022, by the way. Now, here's the chart. If uh, those of you that, that like your charts, you can see it visualized how they're seeing it from 22 all the way through to 20. 30 and home equity is very clearly on there. You can see it here in this sort of a turquoise color or whatever it appears on your screen. The, the authors also noted this was a highly conservative forecast and that in a best case scenario, the tokenization of global illiquid assets could reach 68 trillion. So they've got 16 here, but it could reach 68 trillion. And I think that's very possible when you look at the speed at which things are, are happening at the moment. Now, this is a service by JP Morgan, Onyx. JP Morgan, there it is, because someone said before, oh, it's not owned by JP Morgan. Yes, it is. This is a JP Morgan asset. Goodness. <laughs> Tokenize. The TCN is an application enabling investors to utilize assets as collateral. Transfer collateral ownership, there it is is there, it's right there, without moving assets in underlying ledgers. Now you can read through, there's a lot here if you, you wanna know more about this, 
but it provides added capabilities for assets previously unavailable for use as collateral. Real-time transfer of collateral ownership. There, there it is, real-time transfer. So all of this is coming as we thought. This is really complicated. I don't think we need to go into how the simulator works, but this is your euros here. This is your HKD. And it just shows how the, the, the trades will actually happen. Um, we won't go into it, it's a little complex here, but here's another chart. This is China, Eurozone, US and Nigeria. The digital yuan is already active in 260 million uh, wallets. So we are watching, or I've been watching China to see how this operates. And just as I thought it would operate, what are they having to do with a lot of this? They have crazy levels of cameras everywhere that are tracking people. The it's also it's not it's not programmable at this stage, but it's collecting all that data for every single transaction the person makes. So that's China. We look at Nigeria then, and you know exactly what's going on in Nigeria. We've covered it. You saw what they did. This was very, very nefarious what they did, what the government did. It was absolutely terrible, in fact, what they did. All of a sudden, there was no cash available. Oh, conveniently, after years and years of having cash, there was just none available. You couldn't get cash. The ATM stopped working. You can only withdraw certain amounts. And then they launched new banknotes, but they forgot to print enough banknotes. <laughs> Gosh, these silly, you know, bankers. I mean, I always thought the bankers were recruited, recruiting the smartest people, grabbing the smartest people into, into banking when really they should go into healthcare and medicine and you know all these other things. But that's a, a story for another day. No, no. Apparently, all these geniuses forgot to <laughs> forgot all, you know, about the. I mean, you get where I'm going with this. It's it's quite ridiculous. And then we have the Eurozone, we have the US. Again, we've talked about this a lot as to where they are. They're very close with these. The ECB is very close with theirs. Sweden has just re released their, their final report on their e krona And they did say, and, and they talk about this shadow wallet that people are going to have. If that isn't... Um, <laughs> A little bit nefarious again, it's called a shadow wallet, which represents your money, but isn't actually your money. Uh, okay. The UAE has just introduced their wholesale uh, CBDC. You've got Russia's finance ministry saying the digital ruble will replace cash. And don't worry, it's going to be voluntary. Yeah, if you believe that, you'll believe anything. We have BRICS talking about their digital currency system that they're developing. Uh, this is already ongoing quite, quite um, in, a, in, a, in a strong way at the moment. They're really working on this. This is where we're at. This today is where we're at with the CBDCs that they were never really going to do. Uh, you know, they were just thinking about it. Maybe they'll do it. No, they've been planning this in secret all along and they will launch these central bank digital currencies. Now, if you haven't seen my videos where I did a deep dive on this, definitely catch up because it tells you that the currency limits, how it's going to be implemented, the stages, it's too much to recap over, but you can find those, just do a search on, um, on the channel, somewhere you know, in, the, in the bar above, you can do a search and find these videos, and it will tell you everything that you need to know about all of this stuff. So that, is you up to date on this, on what the SWIFT system has just announced. This is coming down the line. It's just a matter of time. All right, take care. God bless. I'll see you tomorrow. I probably won't be posting a video on Friday because it's Good Friday, but I'll let you know uh, tomorrow. All right, take care.